Welcome back. Residents of Ogun State will heave a sigh of relief as incessant flooding in most parts of the state will soon be over. This is as a result of ongoing construction and rehabilitation of some roads in Ota, Ifo, Shagamo and Ijebode. Correspondent John Felix tells us more. Over 30 kilometer township roads across Ogun State are currently under construction by the State Public Works Agency. The rehabilitation and construction spread across the three senatorial districts from Ota, Ifo, down to Obantoko, Shagamo, and then Ijebode. The deployable state of infrastructure has denied residents of the state access to good roads, while some have been ravaged by incessant flooding. But with the construction work ongoing, the residents of the state are hopeful that the challenges will be properly addressed. Facts. Before they are doing this thing, we really suffer, suffer, suffer for this area. But now, we can thank God and our excellent governor of Ogun State and the others for what they are doing for us. Uh, my message to the governor is that he should, he should continue in this, uh, in this good gesture as to, the, as to make those people who are under uh, are less privileged to enjoy this government. Uh, we thank God they should keep on, keep on doing all this, this kind of projects. We, we, we want it. They, we want them to be doing it more and more. For site engineers at the various locations, they speak on the level of work done. As we came the first time, the road was not in good condition. So we are here to make it good. First, we are doing the drainage now. Immediately complete the drainage, we start immediately with the earthwork, stone base, and asphalt. So it's going to come out uh, very good, better than the way it was before. Okay. Suru Lere to Barua Street, Shagam. We are rehabilitating the road. The road was too bad before. We did um, drainage clearing and cut away. We did uh, stone base repair. Now we are on uh, asphalt repair of the sections that were bad before. We wouldn't have been able to walk to this place if not for the uh, rehabilitation we have done. Adea Kinsoya is a consultant to the Ogun State Governor on Works and Infrastructure. He says the rehabilitation and construction work ongoing simultaneously is to address the immediate challenge of flooding and ensure the roads are more durable. He also gives a timeline for completion and the government's plan going forward. We are looking at about three to four months maximum. So let's say if you come back here by before January, we'll be driving on the road, barring any, any rain. Because one of the things we are doing starting next Wednesday, we are doing a demonstration test close to, you know, in the Abelkote area that we address the issue of the rural road. This is the line with the promises we made when we were campaigning. That we will be an administration that's defined as that which puts a premium on township and rural roads. So this is the beginning of our rehabilitation of township roads. The rural roads are going to follow. We are developing a technology that allows us to rehabilitate the rural roads so that they also get the attention they deserve so we can bring produce from the farmlands into the markets with relative ease. The government says it is working its talk as over 100 rural roads will be constructed. Only time will tell if these promises made will be kept. Imo State Governor Mekai Hedi 